Man, y'all, I got to be honest. I used to play this Indiana Jones game and on old Xbox, and he went to Istanbul. Never thought I'd be here in my life. And let me introduce y'all. This is the homie Dan and the man, my brother in Christ, honestly. Such a good person, man, spiritual person. We, we ain't, ain't going to be able to talk much because he's still in the game. Obviously, I'm out, but uh, it's my brother, man. I oh, truly love you, bro. It's Same been brother. such a pleasure, man, honestly. All of this Yo, shout out the boy band real quick. This is Gang for Life. These are my brothers, man. We got gang, Nate, dude. we got Jordan, we got D uh, Dan, and then we got Dustin. I'm happy you took my place. Yeah, there's nobody like you, bro. Hey, no, no, y'all are, are the best, bro. Bitches, bro. Right Honda. <laughs> hey, Dottie, Dottie, you know the vibes. But hey, have a good day, boys. I will see y'all later, man. Yeah. Shout out Dr. V as well. The coolest psychologist in the planet. Shout out Mr. B, the best service man on the planet. Always appreciate you, man. And do not fucking clean my room, all right, bro? I can take care of it myself, man. Uh, man, those guys, I absolutely love them. I wish Marty was in that video. But y'all meet him later. Shout out Marty, dude. Love you too, brother. But man, like it is crazy to be in Istanbul after playing that Indiana Jones game. Like, look at this shit. Like, bro, look at this place. Look at this architecture over here too, man. What? This boat out here, vibing. So cool. So thankful, man. You know, I'll be honest. Like, I really, I have vlogs. But I don't vlog that much. When it comes to an adventure like this on the real love boat, you know, I, I did say in the show, like, I'm not looking for no love. One thing that the real love boat has totally taught me that I've taken from it is, um, oh, hold on one second. I get right for my final interview. Shout out to my Oma and my grandmother for giving me this bracelet. I've worn it the whole way, Oma. And it has protected me, made me my most authentic self. But I will say, man, like, one thing that I have learned First off, you can test your friendship. Like for example, Nate, Mr. Steal Your Girl, because man, you've been robbing people, dude. Honestly, it's cool though. That's lit for you. You know, test friendship, test loyalty, trust. And personally, I feel like I have made a loving connection with everyone here, even the team production, getting to know the guys behind the scenes and just seeing how everything works. Like, dude, look at this, look at this guy flying. Wow. How majestic. It really is like a loving relationship. I can, I, I can safely say I've made lifelong friends here. Uh, it's beautiful and I just thank God every day for this experience. Shout out cousin Oscar here, cause <laughs> we got the same hair, man, but he do it a little differently, you know? What's hey, up, Pickle TV? Hey, what's hey, up? Hey, we I gonna, the name. You know what, we gonna change the name though. Oh, it's gonna be, now? it's gonna be We So TV for We, we So Out of Here. Oh, We So Out of Here, cause I- you drop that music. Yeah, bro, it's yeah, fire, yeah, bro. Got, yeah, right Get there, some right love, there. yeah, definitely. Oh, you water bottle Only 19, boy. right, bro? Yeah, 19. Making moves, bro, trying at 19. To, brother, trying to. This is my good friend Gabriel from Brazil. And then you know I got a deary in the cut yet again, yes sir. And man, we just out here enjoying the views of Istanbul, dude. Oh my God. And of course, the um, amenities of Princess Cruises. Look at this food, bro. You know we eat good. Look at that shit, dog. Look at that architecture, dog. So I just did my final interview. I definitely went out like a fucking G. I think I truly feel confident with how I answered. I hope I make an impact on the world, honestly, man. I'm very open with who I am as a person. With these types of shows, like they, they keep us in our rooms. The worst part was when they took away our phones because obviously you can't talk to anybody out here. Confidentiality, continuity, you know, no spoilers. We're also under these types of contracts. Like, honestly, that's my favorite part about being eliminated is the fact that I have my phone, I have my music. I'm able to like not be conformed to some sort of scheduled thing. I'm just kind of vibing here. I'm able to explore and do things now on my own time. And it was a great time, man. I, I really enjoy how it ended for me. I can't wait for y'all to see it. And I, the only you think I wanted to do was make it to Greece and yo check it out dog. so here on as they say Princess Regal Cruise is we have a little map of everywhere that we've been they did take away our first week in Barcelona but we've been here here been going here we went here and yeah man tomorrow we're in Istanbul now but tomorrow we'll be in Greece we're literally gonna make it to make it else that happens I can't believe it that's what I leave I'm not gonna lie, the reason I wanted to come to Greece was because when me and my ex stopped talking, I saw she went uh, to Greece with like all these hot girls that shot a cool magazine, and I'm like, how the fuck? 
because you get degrees and I'm at home like alone and like honestly to that person out there I'm proud of you man that's fucking what's up personally I don't want like, a relationship with that person anymore I'm past all that and I hope they're well but I got eliminated before we made it to Greece. I prayed like, God, if you want to humiliate me because of these reasons, then I hope it draws me closer to you. And immediately after I got eliminated, I realized in myself, wow, like I got eliminated because I just wanted to go to Greece for egotistic reasons. As soon as I learned that, I thought I was leaving today in Istanbul. They switched the schedule. I'm actually leaving Saturday, which is when we go to Mykonos is tomorrow. Athens is Saturday. I get off. I get to spend the day there. God just rewarded me with that because I knew the reason why. And I'm sorry, like this is powerful for me. Sorry if I'm losing y'all. But the reason why he rewarded me is because I realized I wanted to get there for toxic reasons. And like now I get to go and experience it for myself. So taken back from it. Crazy, man. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Yeah, I hope that wasn't weird for y'all. And I'm sharing my 25-year-old wisdom with anyone out there. I can pat myself on the back there that I got eliminated right before then and I can go there on my own time. The other contestants have finally come out of the shell of the PD energy. I got my boy Mike right here and my boy Dylan. Uh, this this man, uh, this man, an uh, artist. What's your artist name, bro? Uh, Mike. I bet he's Mike, bro. He be on the mic, you know what I'm saying? Man, this is my other brother right here from North Carolina. My guy, Marty. This dude, honestly, Marty, this dude, dude, you're looking at the winner of the show, personally. Like, yeah. Okay, okay, I won't jinx. You're right. Just so y'all see what he looks like. Bam. Look at that face, dude. Look at that smile. Yeah, my boy Nate just got back from a challenge. They're playing with the hearts right now, huh, bro? Yeah, so apparently this man just found the best girl. What's her name? How you feel about it right now, bro? No, it's just fucking gorgeous. I haven't really found any flaws yet, so. Hey, this man took my girl. You see how we are? I don't get no fuzz. Hey, if, you know, if a girl, if you and your homie ain't cool no more because a girl, but well, that ain't your homie, really, man. If it, if it was my choice, too, I would probably put you guys together. I would have sent myself home. Man, but honestly, bro, I'm happy I went out the way I did because it's going to help me in a marketing standpoint. I think, I think, I'm assuming. I mean, obviously this show's been out now since the live television show because I'm speaking in future tense because I'm not posting this until it's all said and done, right? And for also legal reasons. And I'm just so happy that you're still here and you're gonna be able to show the world your emotional side because there was a lot of, um, there was a shell, bro. You know, you're a big guy, you know, you got a big shell, dude. This girl, Tyler, sounds like she cracked it, bro. And, uh, man, look at this bow, right? You can continue, bro, yeah. yeah I felt so bad today. Yeah, after the challenge, and she started crying at the end because she knows that y'all yeah, are possibly going to get just, eliminated. We just fucking met, and we potentially leave, we're going to kick that. And dude, no. that's why I say like, Jordan, I'm going to tell you later, obviously tonight, hopefully when we all hang out, but like, brother, you and Kendra had a good run, bro. I think, personally, bro, I think I would send you home just to give my boy the opportunity to show the world that he actually does care about people. You know what I'm saying? It is sad, bro. It is a game of hearts, but... <laughs> hey, bro, think about it like this. This shit gonna be lit as fuck to watch. It's gonna be fire. Right, but yeah, man, Nate, bro, you know, we'll, we'll continue with the vlogs and stuff, whatever, but um, this is memories, bro. You'll appreciate this in the future, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm over here in my boy Jordan's room right now. Big, this <laughs> That's it. We got Marty in the cut and then Big Nate. The but star is baby. I don't know what's going to happen. Whatever happens, happens. Well, I gave my input, bro. And I do feel like Nathan deserves to show the world his more emotional side. And you can literally go out high and proud with building an organic relationship that you do with Kendra, bro. Yeah, you know? but the thing is, if, 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 uh, say Coop does pick us, I'm going to take, the, I'm going to take the W. I want to move forward too. Of course, bro. Everybody yeah, like, does. Yeah, like, right? if I get the W, yeah. but like, if I don't, then dang, I'm not hitting on anything. There's two different sides to it. Yeah. Who knows what the fuck's gonna happen? But there's two different sides and what makes sense. Right. So I'm not trying to be. It's just right? shitty. Like, like this whole situation is just shitty. I, I thought they were gonna do this for the last challenge. No, yeah. but it, Cause, cause who was fourth? And, I, we were. Me and Emily were fifth. Who was fourth? Um, was it was it Dust? I Dustin, 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 Dustin and Alisa. Alisa. Yeah. Yeah. Is that was third. Yeah. That would be easy. An easy decision. Yeah. Come on in. Wow. Yeah. We have a pan here? Yeah, yeah. we're. Yeah, what? There's a whole party in here. Wow. Oh, a damn man. Wow. Man, you're looking fancy. Where Nick is going to invite me. That's hey. crazy. 
I mean, guys, they invited me. <laughs> <laughs> the group is out. Are we, uh, are we supposed to be dressed? Are you, is it, oh, We're, is it You guys are supposed to be in separate rooms right now. Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, oh, you are. Right. Hopefully rooms. they get dressed for the uh, pot stuff right now. Yeah. I always tell Mr. B, don't oh. clean the room, and oh. I caught him. <laughs> Thank you, man. I really appreciate you. Yeah. Funny as hell, dude. <laughs> Golly. I wasn't able to explore Istanbul. Dustin over here did. I, I got to see it from, like, the upper levels when we had, um... A uh, buffet. You know, it surprisingly looks like a modernized city. Oh, Very beautiful. We're on our way now, I believe, to Mykonos or Athens. I, I know I recorded earlier. Ooh, Marty out there catching vibes. Yes, Sersky. Oh, we got Mike in the cut now. <laughs> but it is a very modernized city. Oh, yeah. This is so beautiful. It's like, it's like a wall, right? Look at Lord. Look at that Castillo, dude. What in the world? <laughs> oh, it's train tracks. Or is that a boardwalk? No, it's a boardwalk and a road. I think Cheryl wants to take me to the buffet. I'm low-key hungry as a motherfucker, so I'm ahead. All right, so here is my uh, eliminator, so to say. And Sarah, shout out Sarah. You know, we eating good out here on the Princess Crew. I don't know where all the other girls went, but I mean, Cheryl probably won't feel comfortable with me recording her. She said I gotta warm up to her, but yeah, man, she definitely sent me home. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was good though. I loved it. Oh, we got a deary in the cut, Cheryl. I'm not gonna record you, but uh, yeah. <laughs> the one that betrayed my boy Nate is in the cut. Elisa, I ain't gonna lie. I said you were kind of toxic on the show. It's I good said to I me, was but... a troublemaker. I'm yeah. not toxic. No, no, you good though, man. We it's all love at the end. Like, is it she gorgeous though? Like this is the finest Indian girl I ever seen in my life. For it's like dead ass, and we all eating good today, baby. Hey, yeah, bro. This is truthfully a once in a lifetime experience, right? now. We just out here eating good ass food. I eat once a day in LA sometimes, and now I'm outside. Look at that shit. Oh my god, bro, that shit is an aerial view, like a panoramic video. Look at this shit, y'all, and look at the wake left behind by the boat. Wow, bro. So me and the dairy have made a wonderful discovery. Our medallions definitely work for alcohol, so you know we finna run it up on CBS. I must say, like, fuck us and are like, oh, you owe. Yeah, we don't cover alcohol. <laughs> but, hey, bro, fuck it, you know what I'm saying? Cheers, ladies. More life and going up the fuck up after all that. Shout out to Aldo, man. Ice cream guy. Appreciate you, man. Have a good one. All right. Okay, so a lot of these ladies are off work tonight, and look at these beautiful ladies right here. Just absolutely work their ass off. You know what I'm saying? So y'all deserve it very much. So yes, yes, yes. And Dom looking exquisite tonight as well. Here with my man Dean. <laughs> Alright, so I just got a call from Jordan from Windsor, Canada. <laughs> it's a top secret mission, y'all. Dan and Shay stuck into his room. And uh, I guess they ordered alcohol or something like that. I don't fucking know, man. I need to like pull a delinquent Dean. Oh, shit, it's dark. Clap, clap. Come on, work, motherfucker. Uh, I need to pull a top secret mission right now. And pull a delinquent Dean and distract him. So, uh, yeah, fuck it. Here I go. Gabe, fuck did this man go? I guess I can make a call now. Dude, he's disappeared out the hallway. Wait, what's going on? Hold on, hold on. What happened? Well, I mean, I'm in my room on the phone with you, so I'm not in the hallway to see, you know what I'm saying? But I didn't see him in the hallway. Let me go look. Just stay here. First person view. <laughs> this looks like an LSD trip. Holy fuck. Holy fuck, dude, this is like the shining on acid. I'm actually tripped out by this camera. Holy fuck, get that. So, geez, you scared the fuck. Go, 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 go. That was Shay. Shout out to Shay. Gang, yeah. But I ain't gonna lie, that scared the fuck out of me, dude. Oh, yeah, hold on, let me go see. Hey, do you know where Gabe is? Because I'm trying to go, like, smoke. You know? I can text him. Yes. Guys, I'm shouting out Chris. They had an amazing night tonight. Oh, oh he got he peeking out. You trying to smoke, bro? No, I'm good. I'm about to go to bed. Take a fuck. I took two melatonin and they're doing yeah. nothing. Dog. Anyways, 
Good night. You look Big, great. I know, right? Good Where's lord. Uh, Gabe is back doing his duties. Hallway patrol. <laughs> Honestly, dude, thank God I'm fucking here because I would be bored as shit if I was sitting here all night just like dicking around. Doing like, thing. bro, what are you fucking doing? Like, go to bed, bro. Gabe, good night, dude. And you got I, a deal, yeah. huh? All right, man. I'm a good deal. I did, dude. I did. It's like prison, bro. You know, like. <laughs> It really is, dude. He's like, you don't smoke a cig tonight. I give you some for your day trip tomorrow. I'm like, all right, man. Look at you. <laughs> Bro, hold on. I gotta get. I gotta get the shining. Okay, this is the shining. <sighs> oh my god, it's like a bad trip simulator. This camera is actually insane. <laughs> Dude, bro, I think we would have fun if we were tripping together in here, bro. All right, Gabe, good night, bro. I'm gonna try to go to sleep, I guess. I'll play my song, Dying. You haven't heard it yet, but it's good, dude. All righty then. Are you gonna come on the day trip? <laughs> no. Thank you, bro. Big zoom in on Gabe. <laughs> All right, bro.